I was just in a GM truck automotive forum, and there was debate over how the accelerator pedal position sensors work and the throttle position sensor. Or the yeah. So if you don't know on drive-by-wire vehicles, you've got a, a, a two potentiometers down at the accelerator pedal, and they go to the computer, and then the computer uh, you got wires that go to the throttle body, and you got two throttle position sensors in that throttle body, and it's kind of weird the way they work. A lot of people, especially in this forum. Uh, thought they had a good understanding of it and it just it really irritates me when you've got these guys that they have no clue what they're talking about but they're talking as though they're an authority on it and they're trying to tell other people what they should be seeing whether it's on a scan tool a scope or whatever so we're on a 2011 Chevrolet Silverado and all I want to do is show you what good accelerator pedal signals look like and what you're looking for and what good throttle body or throttle position sensors look like. If you don't know, there's two uh, potentiometers on the accelerator pedal and there's two potentiometers on the throttle body. And on GMs, this is the way the majority of GMs work. As far as I know, uh, there may be some GMs that work a little differently. Different manufacturers, I know some of them work differently than others, but this is specifically for GM trucks. So we're just going to go here to uh, the engine uh, control module. We're going to go to live data. Uh, down here you'll see where it says TAC. That's uh, thr throttle angle control, I think, or something like that. Anyway, the first sensors we're going to look at is going to be right here where it says n number 8 and 9. That's accelerator pedal position sensor 1, accelerator uh, pedal position sensor 2. And I'm just going to select both of them. I'm going to go to custom. And I'm just using the, the D8BT on this. Now, before I get into the graphing, just notice the value that each one of them are at. Now, some of these guys on this forum was trying to say that those values should be the same. And if they're different, then that's bad. That is absolutely not the case whatsoever. In fact, I'm going to go back. I want to select one more thing. If you see right here, if you look at number uh, six, we're going to select that too. Notice it says agree. That's important too because if there is a disagreement in those sensors, you will get a disagree for that uh, PID. So let me go to custom again. That way we can watch the agree. But what you're looking for, okay, Sensor 2 should be about 50% less than sensor 1, no matter where the throttle position's at, or the accelerator pedal, rather. It should be about 50% less. Now, I'm going to go ahead and hit graph. Well, actually, I'm going to hit combine because we can see both of them. Now, the agree isn't going to do anything. Uh, it's just going to, more than likely, if this is going to work right, it's going to stay on agree, but I'm going to slowly push the accelerator pedal, and if you watch the values and watch the graph, sensor 2 will be 50% less than what sensor 1 is. So I'm just going to slowly put it to the floor. And we're going to watch that graph. And once I get it to the floor, we're going to take a look at what the readings are. So right now, Sensor 1 is at 4.2 volts. Sensor 2 is at, is at 2.10, roughly. So that is pretty much exactly 50% of what Sensor 1 is. That's exactly what you want on a GM vehicle, or at least this year making model. So I'm going to slowly let off. You can watch the graph, or you can watch the, uh, the values up top. I'm just going to slowly let off. In fact, I'm going to stop about midway or so. I want to stop right there. So if you look at sensor 1, we're at 2.78. Sensor 2, 1.37. I mean, that's virtually 50% of what sensor 1 is. And that's what you're looking for. Now, if you're watching it on a graph, what you don't want to see is either one of those 
spike up or down real quick. If you see that, you're probably going to get a disagree. Uh, if you look up there, you know, where it says APP sensor 1 and 2, agree, that will probably go to disagree. Uh, the computer's programmed to look at both these sig uh, signals, and there's a, a tolerance, and I don't know what that tolerance is, but as long as sensor 2 is about 50% less than sensor 1, or sensor 1 is 50% more than sensor 2, the computer's happy, and every, everything's good. So, again, I'm putting it to the floor. And you can see right there, sensor 2 is at 2.08, sensor 1 is at 4.2. So that's virtually, you know, 50%. So, and what you want to do, especially if you have a scope, is you want to look for a, any kind of a uh, discrepancy, I guess, or a, uh, you know, an, an anomaly in either one of those signals. Anything that's not smooth is, uh, you know, if you had a spike, going up or down on either one of those signals, then that particular potentiometer has got a bad spot in it and going to cause a problem. Anyway, so we're done with that. Again, the agree, as long as that always stays agree, the signals are close enough to where everything's good, everything's happy. So let's go back. We're going to deselect these. And now let's go to the throttle position sensor. And we'll go ahead and select the uh, throttle position agree also. Now, again, now these work differently. And you're about to see how these work. Again, people on the forum, some of them's trying to say that these signals should be identical going up and down. Those people don't know what they're talking about. So notice the agree. Uh, that should never go to disagree. And I'm going to go here to combine on the graph, uh, and we're going to watch those two signals. And I'm just going to slowly uh, start pushing down on the accelerator pedal and watch what happens to these signals. Slowly pushing down. Now the throttle body is actually moving. It's opening up. Okay, we've got it all the way to the floor. I'm going to let off. Then I'm off. So what you're looking at here is identical, re or, or not identical, but you're looking at a mirror image of the other signal. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of push down. I'll let off. Push down again a little bit farther, let off, and you want to see an exact mirror image of the other signal, which we're getting here. Notice the agree is staying agree. The computer's happy with what it's seeing here, and what it's seeing is an exact mirror image of the other signal. Each, each signal is mirroring the other. So, and there's a tolerance that, you know, each signal could be slightly off and the computer would be happy. But if it's off too much, then the computer is not happy about that. And that's when you're going to get a reduced engine power, uh, obviously a check engine light, and issues with, your, with the drivability. But, again, there was people saying that these signals should be the same. If they're not, then you either got a bad throttle body or you got a bad accelerator pedal whatever this right here is a good running engine this is good signals with uh, the throttle body position sensors that's to the floor I'm going to let off slowly and we'll change the scale or not the scale but the pushing down See how they mirror each other? Whoops. Let me, there we go. Should be an exact copy of each other in a mirror, uh, is what I should say. And I'm just pushing up and down on the accelerator pedal. 
trying to get you know if you if if you thought you had an issue you could push up and down on the accelerator pedal relatively slow and look for a spike in either one of these uh, sensors but that right there is a good signal that's that's what you want anyway that's pretty much it for this uh, so, some key info here is the agree if you pull up on your scan tool and if it says disagree on either the uh, let me uncheck the uh, actually on either one of this line six and seven of this particular scan tool both these say agree if either one of them show disagree that's not good you need to look into why that is but this just demonstrated what good signals should look like on a scan tool a scope is going to look very similar to that uh, a scope obviously is a lot faster so if you did have a you know a, 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 a real quick spike in the signal a scope's going to pick it up way faster and easier than what a scan tool would be able to it'd have to be pretty bad for a scan tool to be able to pick that up as far as doing a sweep a throttle sweep and and catching that anyway that's all that i just wanted to show on this uh this was the x tool d8 bt and uh this is a 2011 silverado this particular engine is a 4.3 but the 5.3 and every other gm engine in this year range is going to be exactly the same as far as i know all gms work this way uh, I think Toyota works a little differently. Uh, different manufacturers have their own little ways of doing it, but this is the way GM does it. Anyway, you guys take care. We'll see you.